President of the United States has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Laura A. Potter. In view of these qualities and her demonstrated potential for increased responsibility, she is therefore authorized and directed to wear the uniform and two-star insignia of a Major General by the authority of the Secretary of Defense. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to historic Brown Parade Field for the United States Army Intelligence Center of Excellence and Fort Huachuca Change of Command Ceremony. Today, the command and colors will be passed from the Commanding General, Major General Robert P. Walters, Jr., to Major General Laura A. Potter. Major General Walters will pass the colors to Lieutenant General Lundy, signifying his relinquishment of command and completion of two years as the Commanding General. Lieutenant General Lundy will then pass the colors to Major General Potter, charging her with the responsibility for the United States Army Intelligence Center of Excellence and Fort Huachuca. I would tell you that there's no better team than the team we've got here at ICO, and I get to see it in spades, uh, the phenomenal work that you and your team have done. So to you and Nancy, thank you for 38 years of service. Thank you for your commitment to being the force modernization proponent to drive the right kinds of change for our Army and the intelligence war fighting function. Thanks for the phenomenal work you've done as the Commandant of the school here and the great relationships you've built, the trust and teamwork uh, with all of our joint force partners, whether it's Army North, the Customs and Border Patrol, our local communities. Uh, you've been a phenomenal teammate, and you've been a great teammate to me and the rest of the CAC team. And we're going to miss you and Nancy being here. But I'll tell you, there's nobody I trust more than Laura Potter to be able to take this. So to you and Randy and your great family, uh, we wish you all the best. And uh, I look forward to seeing ICO continue to be greater in New York Heights. And to all the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines that are on the field today, uh, thank you for your service. To all the leaders at the Intel Center in Fort Huachuca, uniforms, civilian, and contractors, thank you for what you do and for all of your support. To Major uh, General Potter, and that sounds good, Laura, Major General Potter, uh, and your family, congratulations, welcome, and enjoy the ride. I know you will. When I came through Buffalo Soldier Gate for the first time in August of 1989 as a second lieutenant, our commanding general was Major General Julius Parker, who when he activated the Military Intelligence Corps stated that for the first time it bound, it bound soldiers and civilians, active and reserve components alike, into a regimental organization proud of its heritage and committed to mission excellence. As I stand here today, I share that pride and commitment to excellence and I pledge my full dedication to the tasks at hand. All policies and procedures remain in effect, always out front.